I make money and I have fun at the same time. How cool is that? I love that. Hello, my name is Sarah and this channel is Sarah Refined. Here we discuss self-development and how it pertains to the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and financial aspects of our lives. Today I wanted to film three videos and I have been having a very hard time figuring out what to film. So I started going through my journal and found something from February 1st, 2019. So over a year and a half ago, I had rewritten a ton of my mantras, all of this. I rambled and needed to cut out the part that essentially said and I wanted to share them with you so I wanted to share them with you let's get into that the very first one I had written down was I accept and embrace wealth in my life this was a hard one for me because in my life I didn't accept that we could be wealthy so somebody else's mind might be thinking that I have a certain number in my bank account and that could be true or false but how I react changes it all so for me to react with Oh, like, no, I don't have as much as you think I do. That's only pushing me back down and keeping me to have not as much as they think I do. Whereas with this mantra, I accept and embrace wealth in my life. It started changing how I responded to people. The second mantra I wrote was, the more I enjoy life, the more money I have. And this is so true. I was just, as I'm rereading this list, kind of struck by that because I have enjoyed my life more and then I make more. And I think it's because you could say energy or whatever, but as I get happier and I am enjoying my life, people are gonna be drawn to me and that's in my business as well. And it works like a cycle. When I see a full schedule, I don't have to worry so much about when my bills are gonna get paid because I know I'm making that money, so I enjoy my life. So then I have a full schedule and it carries on and on and on. So the more I enjoy my life, the more money I have. A big one for me is that money comes from every corner of my life. This is a hard one because I don't fully believe it yet. I think I have to work hard to make money. I'm currently able to change that perception and change it to money is easy to come by. It doesn't just have to be because I work. Maybe I win money, maybe I win prizes. That's another part of it too, is understanding that money doesn't have to be like cash. It can sometimes be rewards. Maybe I win a free trip. So money can come to you from every corner of your life. Money comes to me from all corners of my life. The fourth mantra I wrote down was, the more money I make, the more I help people and vice versa. This opened the doors for me accepting help from wealthier people than I. And it also made me realize I do not care how much money I spend when it comes to helping others. And that doesn't need to be just charities. Like I, I don't mind giving to charities, but to be honest, I prefer helping people in my own life or direct needs, if that makes sense. So that could be sending gift cards to people who are stuck in the hospital or putting together gift baskets for friends. That's how I like to use my money. And the more the more money I have, the more I help people. It means I'm not hoarding it. I'm not keeping it. I'm not afraid that it's gonna leave me because the more I enjoy my life, the more money I make. So you you can see how just changing one or two of these things has like a whole ripple effect. I was gonna say ladder effect, but I don't think that's a thing. Another one I like is that money is energy. I am full of energy and I am surrounded by energy. One of my favorite things my mom taught us, I think when we were pretty young, like maybe grade six, so like 12 years old, we did logic. This is not a subject that most people study in school. We had an actual logic book written out. We had to do workbooks. We had to like break down arguments. The whole thing about this is that if A equals B and B equals C, then logically A equals C, okay? So money is energy. I am energy and I am surrounded by energy. If argument A is accepted as true, then argument B and C must also be true. I love logical things and writing out my mantras like this have changed so much because if I can accept point A, then why wouldn't I accept everything else? I make money and I have fun at the same time. How cool is that? I love that. This one's gonna be really helpful for you if you think something like you have to work hard for money or money is hard to come by. If you believe those, then you can use this one to start rewriting that. You can make money and have fun at the same time. Little fun fact about myself, I love my job. Put your hand up if you make money and have fun at the same time. Another one I wrote is that I have more than enough money for all of my needs. There was a point in my life where I was so 
strict with things. I, was, I had like four months rent paid up in envelopes because it was all done in cash. And yet I'd still feel guilty if I spent money on like a bag of chips at the store rather than just my regular groceries. So coming to a conclusion and a new belief that I have more than enough money to provide for all of my needs means that I can allow a little bit of wiggle room for some of my wants. I'm just gonna share a couple more here. It is safe for me to pay attention to my finances. How do you feel about your finances? Do you feel like it is safe for you to pay attention to them? I think a lot of us get really uncomfortable paying attention to them. We don't wanna look at our credit report and I still do this sometimes. Like same thing with my investments and my savings. Sometimes I, I don't feel like it's gonna be where I want it to be and I try not to check it too often so I don't get caught up in the numbers. But at this point, for the most part, I believe it is completely safe for me to pay attention to my finances. I'm going to say the last three as kind of one. I place no limits on the amount of money I can make. It is safe for me to carry a wallet full of cash. And three, I am happy to be visibly wealthy. The reason I'm putting all those three together is because I think that number three kind of encapsulates the other two. When you see someone who is visibly wealthy, you imagine they're probably making a lot of money and they probably have a lot of cash or cards in their wallet. So something I've been working on is loving cash. I don't use it all the time because it's just not the world we live in right now that much, but feeling safe when I have it has been a totally different thing and I trust that money is an energy like we talked about earlier. So if it is coming into my wallet, then it also has the freedom to move away from my wallet. It all comes down to being safe. I think I talked about this in a couple of my videos. We want to feel safe. And that goes to all aspects of our lives, money included. I hope this video has helped you and I hope it has changed your mindset. If you have any specific video ideas or, or any questions on something about finances, I would love to help and I'd love to try and answer them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. It helps me a lot. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos on physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and financial life skills self-development. I will see you in the next video, but before you go, just one last thing. Remember, when you improve yourself, you improve the world. Bye.